Hi everyone, I'm Nikki Hart and welcome to Design Like a Pro. In this lesson, I want to dissect hierarchy for you because this is something that I touched on in my last episode where I shared three tips that are gonna rock your designs. So if you haven't seen that, be sure to check it out because those tips really do make a difference. They're gonna elevate your designs to another level. It's something that I use every single time in my designs, so check that out if you haven't. We're gonna take hierarchy here and we're gonna look at it a little bit further, a little bit deeper, because this is one of those topics that isn't as obvious as the other two that I shared. So I wanted to walk you through my process of hierarchy and really show you how I use it in every single one of my designs. We're gonna use a real life project that I designed for a client last month. So it's gonna show you the whole process. So let's get started. The first thing that happens when you're a designer and you're designing an event poster is typically you get an email full of content. So you have a big block of text to look at, figure out, determine how you're going to whip it into something really cool. And as designers, I consider us puzzle solvers. We're puzzle solvers and we're fixers. And that's really what our job is. So it's no different when you're given a block of text and you have to dissect that and figure something out with it. So. We have our block of text, now what? The very first thing that I do before I even start designing is I look at the who, the what, the when, and the where. Those are the items that I pull out of that big block of text and I determine the who, the what, the when, and the where. This is going to help me tremendously figure out how I want to lay out my content by looking at what is the most important, the second most important, the third most important, and then everything else. So that's how I break up my text content to be able to figure out what is most important. And actually what is most important is usually the what. The what being the title of the event, the name of the event, what it is that we're promoting. That is what is most important and what's gonna get the most real estate on our poster. So I'm gonna emphasize this title by having it in all, in all caps, using a bold color, also having it larger than anything else on the page. That's what I want people to see, so that's what I'm gonna emphasize. So I'm gonna start right there. Already we're very, very far along just with those few little tips right away. So hierarchy is how we emphasize our content, how we break it up, how we determine the size and the colors and the placement. All of that is what hierarchy is. We're giving certain elements more emphasis than others. That's what hierarchy is. So from our what, our headline, the title of our event, we move on down our list. And so we wanna emphasize where and when this event is. Without knowing that, we really can't get people to where, where we want them to go, right? So we really wanna emphasize that. Again, we can emphasize that by using a bolder font, a larger font, a different color. One thing to keep in mind though, is you don't wanna go crazy with your colors and have every little thing a different color. We still have a color palette that we've chosen, in this case, red and brown. So we're sticking to that, but we're being really decisive of how we place those colors throughout our designs. And that's what's gonna make a huge, huge difference overall in the hierarchy and then the scannability of our document so that people can see this poster immediately get where and when this event is. After that, we really wanna pay attention to our call to action. This is what we're telling people to do after they've seen this poster. So this could be going online to a website. This could be going to Facebook and joining our social networks. It could be calling a phone number for tickets. There's a lot of different ways that you can look at calls to action, but whatever it is for your case, that is something else that you want to emphasize. This could be in a circle. It could be in something with a colored background, something that really stands out. Again, you could just emphasize it by using a different color and a different size. But the key here is that the sizes that you choose do not compete with your main element, which is the title. That is the key. Really emphasizing those three things and keeping your title, your call to action, and the when and where so that they stand out, but they're not in competition with each other because they're all the same size. So we've chosen that accordingly, and this way we can scan the document quickly, but we still can see the three items separately. Then all the rest of the content comes into play with a similar look and feel. You'll notice that the smaller elements on the page all have very similar colors, 
all have very similar fonts. So the design's very cohesive. And then we've broken them up so that we can still scan those elements. They're still important, they're just not as important. That's the trick with hierarchy, is determining your most important elements over your least important elements. You'll also notice that we avoided the cake effect with the poster, which basically is when you stack everything one on top of each other. And we've utilized columns at the bottom so that we can place some other information side by side instead of on top of each other. Again, that helps break up the content, allow for some white space, and it's a little bit easier to read. And then at the end, you want to really ask yourself some questions, and then you're gonna be looking at your design from a viewer perspective. So you wanna ask yourself if you can easily determine what your event is by looking at the poster, if I know where and when it is, and if I know what to do next. If you answer yes to all of those questions, then you have a pretty solid design. And grab a buddy and ask them as well so that you can get some honest feedback because when you're designing something, you already are so far into it that it's pretty hard for you to step away and look at it with fresh eyes. All of that is gonna help you really maximize your hierarchy, really maximize your content so that you're taking a big block of text and making it a lot easier to digest and also very visually appealing to your audience. So that is an inside look into hierarchy. Hopefully it's going to do wonders for your designs. Now it's your turn. Head on over to the comments and leave me a message letting me know how hierarchy works for you. If you still are having trouble understanding it, no worries. Leave me a comment and I'll do my best to answer them. I actually do go through and read all of the comments and answer them as much as possible. If you haven't already, please subscribe so you can stay up to date with all the latest and greatest here on Design Like a Pro. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Bye.